Hi guys, it's Julie. Welcome or welcome back to my wonderful BC life. I hope everybody's doing well today. I'm afraid I have some, well, not great news anyway. Uh, I thought I'd better let y'all know. I uh, had a uh, little spot here on, I don't even know, what, what do you call that? My, my jawline? It's close to my jawline anyway. And it's been there, I bet you, five years. It was before we ever moved to Nanaimo that there was this little tiny raised spot. And I had had uh, skin cancer up on my forehead. This was way before we moved here, like at least a year before we moved here. So at least five years ago. And when they were removing that skin cancer, I'm sure I pointed out that there was a little spot over here that I was kind of concerned about and nothing was said. So it just sort of got swept under the carpet and I thought, well, I guess it's nothing then. Nobody seems worried about it. So anyway, we moved here and uh, I forget at what point, at least a couple of years ago, my family doctor started checking my face because I had some spots on there that looked like they could be precancerous. Pre and he was doing freezing treatments on me, on my face, down around here, various places on my back. I know he did some. And I thought I even pointed that spot out to him, but maybe he didn't realize what spot I meant. And maybe he just didn't see it because it's in an odd spot. I don't know. But somehow it got overlooked, even though I was getting those treatments for, I bet you, about a good year. So anyway, uh, recently I noticed that it seemed like it was getting a bit bigger. And I thought, okay, well, that's definitely not good. So I went and made an appointment, went to see my family doctor, and I uh, pointed it out to him. And this time he could see it. And he's like, oh. Well, he says, well, I'll have to have you come back for another appointment to get a biopsy done, which is exactly what I was expecting. And anyway, I came back, got a biopsy done a week ago today, and uh, I had to go in today. They took out the stitches, made sure it looked okay, like it was healing up all right. And he didn't have the results back yet. So we have not officially confirmed that it is skin cancer, but we suspect that it is. And I'm pretty sure based on imaging and based on what I had before, that it is likely a basal cell carcinoma. So the lesser of the three evils, as they say. So anyway, we it sounds like the uh, tests are, are running behind. It might be another week before I hear anything back. So I will just have to wait and see. And after they get that done, uh, the information back and confirm that it is cancer, they will have to schedule me to have it surgically removed. And uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to be down the road because if the tests are backed up that much, I can just imagine how much the surgeries are backed up. But anyway, it is what it is. I'm fair skinned, blue eyed, just basically destined to uh, have this sort of thing happen to me, I guess. And like I say, it has happened to me before. I know my mother had uh, skin cancer once, and I know her sister had it a bunch of times. And so I guess it's just, you know, genetically some of us are more inclined, which is funny because my husband Dave there, he's dark skinned, especially when he's out in the sun and never burns dark colored eyes you know he just isn't as genetically inclined even though he's out all day in the hot sun with no sunscreen on not to say he can't get skin cancer because he could but he's less likely to just because of his genetic makeup so uh, anyway here I am I've been wearing sunscreen on my face for I don't know how many years since I was in my 20s so you know, 40 years wearing sunscreen on my face, you'd think I would be okay. But what it boils down to is it's a cumulative thing that uh, the damage can start to be done in your childhood. And 
I was a child of the 60s. I mean, we didn't have sunscreen back then. We just didn't. You'd be out from sun up to sundown. No sunscreen, no nothing, because there was no such thing. You just were out doing your thing and having fun. Never even thinking that something like this was going to happen. But anyway, like I say, if it is basal cell carcinoma, it's the lesser of the three evils. Uh, they will surgically remove it, I would think, once uh, they can get me in. And chances are I'm going to be okay. But I thought I'd share it because, like I say, everybody's going to be wondering, why does Julie have a Band-Aid on? Well, there's a reason. But anyway, enough blathering on about that. Let's get on with my shopping haul. It's Dollar Emma and Dollar Tree. Mostly Dollar Tree this time around, believe it or not. Now, uh, everything from Dollar Tree, as always, at least these days anyway, is $1.50. So I don't have to specifically say the price for these next bunch of things because they're all the same price. Now, the one item I've got, this is a repurchase. If you've been watching my channel, you know I buy buy this quite often when it's available and uh, it has been available at my one store but not the other one uh, just recently and that's the jello fat free vanilla pudding managed to get three boxes of those i was nice and didn't take all of them i left them because i figure some people want some too so i wasn't a little picky i left some for others anyway the next item is something I don't buy that often, but I actually like this, and I'll tell you why. It's the Campbell's Vegetable Soup. They had that there in the 284 milliliter can, and I bought two cans of that, and what I do with that is I brown up some ground beef, pour the soup in, add some extra veggies, and maybe even uh, make up some rice to go with it. And it's a nice easy meal. I like it. So once in a while I like to pick that up and like I say I got two cans of that. The next item was something I did have in my last video. I saw they still had some left and we did try it and we liked it so I thought I might as well pick some more up while they still had some and that was the Annie's Deluxe Rich and Creamy Shells and cheddar. I'm trying to read backwards. <laughs> anyway, I bought two boxes of that for dinner whenever I get around to uh, making that. And this was something new to my Dollar Tree. I've not seen it there before and I decided to pick it up. It's the Mio Sport with electrolytes in the orange flavor. And I got one of those. I've, like I say, I haven't seen those in there before, and I thought, well, for some time when I'm feeling dehydrated and maybe I need a little extra boost, I'll have some of that mixed in with some water. I thought that would be good. And then this next item is something I've seen other people hauling, and I kept, every time I'd see it, I'd think, I could kind of use that. Uh, whenever I put my mascara on, I use a nail file to separate my lashes because that was all I ever had and you just use what you've got and you don't think anything of it. But anyway, I saw the, that different people were buying these and it's the Sassy and Chic Lash Comb. And I thought that would be handy. That way when I do my uh, mascara, I can use the lash comb to separate my lashes because there's times when they get a bit too clumpy or something, you know. I thought that would be handy. So I got one of those and I bought some of these. It's the Curad, so it's a name brand, the Flex Fabric 30 Sterile Latex Free Bandages, the three quarter inch by three inch with the improved absorbent pad. Good to know. Anyway, I got one box of those because we seem to go through a lot of band-aids around here for some reason. And I also got, now somebody will have to tell me, I have not tried this before, but I saw this and I always use waterproof mascara because uh, if I get hot, which I'm always hot these days it seems like, 
I don't want to have mascara on that's not waterproof or it'll just be running down my cheeks. So I did see this at Dollar Tree and I don't know if it's any good. If it's terrible and somebody else knows that, please tell me now so I don't waste my time putting it on. You know, you don't want to have waterproof mascara that won't come off or something. But anyway, I don't even know, is Ultimate Length the brand? I don't know. But it says Ultimate Length 24-hour glam mascara and it is waterproof. It does say Cosmic Colors. I don't know, maybe that's the brand? I don't know. But uh, I did buy one of those to try. It's certainly a lot cheaper than what I'm paying for the brand I use now, but is it as good? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out, and I guess I'm finding it out. So the next item is something that I didn't need to really buy quite yet. But I thought, well, they're in now, so I might as well get one. That way I can get one I think is cute. And it's the 2024 12-month puppy calendars. And that's just adorable there. I have the puppy calendar for 2023. I, I, I don't have a puppy as we know. And you can tell I want one because I keep buying puppy calendars. But there's a... Uh, picture of some of the various puppies that are on the puppy calendar. Just adorable each and every one. Anyway, for $1.50, it's, I still like having a calendar on the wall, even though I don't necessarily have to. I mean, I've got things on my phone, but I always think, well, what if my phone dies and all my appointments and stuff are on my phone? I still have a, set, a regular calendar on the wall with my appointments on that too. And if you're in a, you know, just want to walk over and quickly glance, you can see what your appointments are. So anyway, I got one of those. And the next item is something I have not bought before. And they were just put, they had just put them out when I got there. It's not a really big package of cookies. But it's coconut cream, and I love a coconut cream cookie. I really do. And anyway, it's the Devon Coconut Creams. Like I said, it's not a big package of cookies. Uh, 4.9 ounce or 140 gram, it says. But I love coconut cream cookies. So I saw them there, and I had a weak moment. <laughs> so I got those. And the next item is a, another repurchase. They still had some of the big Kit Kat bars there. So I got one of the Kit Kat double chocolate ones this time around. They didn't have the caramel one. They, they must have sold out of those. Those must have been the popular ones because they had the three other kinds there. But I was good and only bought one this time. I tried to be good. And the next item is the Granny Appleton Jujubees. That's what that looks like. And that's, what size is it here? 175 grams of Jujubees for movie night. And I like Jujubees. Like a lot of these other brands that you see now, they're like a jelly candy, but they're not the same as Jujubees. I still like regular Jujubees better than I do these other kinds that they keep coming out with. So I picked up one of those for movie night. And this next item is a name brand and it's the Colgate Total Dental Floss. I swear my eyes are getting worse. Small print is becoming more and more of a challenge, I swear, every day. And it's 54 and a half yards, I think. I think that's what it says. Anyway, I got one of those. I thought that was a good price for $1.50. So I got that. And then I've seen other people haul this. This is the first time I've actually found it in my stores. And it's the Laura Ashley Lip Gloss Duo. I picked that up because I do like a nice lip gloss. And they look like nice colors. So I thought, I'll try that. That's, I'm pretty sure Laura Ashley is a name brand. And then I have my little uh, vases in my bathroom, but I didn't have anything in them for summer. And I saw these and I thought they were kind of cute. This one is Cosmos. 
I thought those were a really pretty flower for the bathroom. I'll put this one in the downstairs bathroom, I think. And my Kleenex box in my, my regular bathroom is blue and yellow. So I picked up this here, which is pansies, I believe, yes. And they're more spring, really, but I don't care. They're flowers. They'll look nice in there for the remainder of the summer season. And then the next item I saw will be for my drink station in the fall. And it's one of these little uh, Hello Pumpkin rolling pins. I thought that was cute with the little raffia bow on the end of it there. That'll be uh, nice at my drink station in the fall. Okay, so now the next items are from Dollarama. Now this item here, I know Missy made these for us the other day and they look so good, I thought well, I'm gonna have to try them. Somebody said they have them in chocolate chip too, but my store just had the blueberry, or I probably would have grabbed one of the chocolate chips as well. But it's the Betty Crocker Muffin Tops and it has like a streusel topping that goes on top of it. And this was $1.75, so I got one box of those. You can tell that when I went out shopping this morning, I did not have my breakfast yet <laughs> because I was buying all sorts of stuff that I probably shouldn't. But anyway, it is what it is. I just won't eat it all at once. That's what I'll have to make sure I don't do. <laughs> and this next item, a name brand as well, something that I have not tried before and I don't know if they're new. They, the package says they're new. But anyway, it's the Reese's Pieces with Caramel. And it also mentions milk chocolate as well. So I'm like, well, that sounds good. I like Reese's Pieces and caramel and milk chocolate are good. So how can you go wrong? <laughs> and that was $2.50 for that. So I got that. And then the next item was, I'll go with this one. This is a repurchase. I bought these numerous times before and hauled them before. For $1.75, I got one of the Burns Flakes of Ham. Dave went and got himself some ribs again. And he likes having ribs in salad. And of course, I'm not a rib person, I've said this before. So it's like, well, what can I get to put in my salad? And that's what the little can of ham is for. When he has the ribs, I'll have the ham in my salad. Now this item, I think this is new too, also name brand. It's the Christy Chips Ahoy Chewy Cookies with the rainbow sprinkles. And it looks like it's got, um, I don't know if it's vanilla chips as well as the chocolate chips. It shows some white chips on there. And that's what that looks like. Whoops, go straight here. Of course, I got the reflection from the window as always. And that's what size bag, 408 grams. So it's a good size bag of cookies as opposed to those little coconut ones. But it was more money too. This was three and a quarter. So I got those. And then the next item, I've been looking for this in the dollar stores and I had not seen it until now. I like doing puzzle books. And I find that if I'm doing a puzzle book that's all crosswords or all Sudokus or all word finds or whatever, I kind of get bored because it's all the same thing. And I always wanted to get one of the variety puzzle books that I had seen in the past and I had bought in the past. And I was looking for them at different stores. I know one of them was Walmart and they were like $9.75 or something. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to pay $9.75 for a puzzle book, but it's the only place that I was seeing the variety puzzle books for or at. And anyway, I happened to go into my Dollarama this morning and I'm like, oh my God, they got the, pu the variety puzzle books. It's the exact same brand that's for $9.75 in Walmart and other stores such as that. And they must be planning on selling them at Dollarama now because they've got the Dollarama logo on the back of the magazines. So for $4, I'm getting 
over 540 puzzles. And like I say, these are the uh, Penny Press variety puzzle books. Got all sorts of different kinds of puzzles in here. And that ought to keep me entertained. So I was absolutely thrilled for $4. That's so much cheaper than what I was going to have to pay. And I noticed they had two different ones. So I picked up two of those. So like I say, I was really happy to see those because I had specifically been looking for that. It's funny how Dollarama is that sometimes you have been looking and looking for something and you can't find it. And you keep thinking, oh, I wish Dollarama would get those in. And then next thing you know, there they are. So it's like, yes, that is fantastic. Absolutely thrilled. And this is going to keep me very busy. <laughs> I will be doing puzzles like crazy now, I think. But anyway, that is my video for today. I hope everybody enjoyed it and saw some interesting things. I hope everyone is doing well. And uh, if you like my videos, please be sure to hit the like button, comment down below. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss any of my uploads. And until next time, bye bye. Bonus here, Richard. Yeah. You guys see the sea water in this place.